Everything seems to be still the same. Okay. Apparently <coughs> I can't hear myself. I still sound like shit. Such is the price. Now we gotta see how stable it is. Speed Street likes to be a bitch every now and then. That's good that you can hear everything. I can't wait for my throat to heal so I stop sounding like this. <coughs> if you had money, you should buy yourself Pokemon Moon instead. Because that's cheaper than Final Fantasy XV, I'm bet. I also don't really have money either. Not that I'm allowed to spend on shit anyways. Hmm. I don't remember how to switch characters in mid-battle. Oh, wait, maybe I do. Charlatan. Okay, I can do that.
Jamie, remember Pokemon games are always around 40 bucks when they come out. say all of the captured citizens will recover. You have my deepest gratitude, everyone. Mine too. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad everyone is okay. Not that I'm opposed to free games or anything. Well then, we should be going. Already? What's the rush? We'll have to pass through Fort Gandala from here. Fort Gandala. Then your destination must be Fenmont. Yes, I have unfinished business there. How do you plan to pass through the fortress? We'll just have to fight our way through. <laughs> Not the easiest of plans. I shall send men to infiltrate the base. They will facilitate your passage. Oh what, Tipo? Hey, at least it's not Monokuma. You sure you should be helping us? We are being chased by the military after all. How Cheryl has never been particularly loyal to Noctigal. In fact, I just issued a formal complaint with the military and ordered their troops to withdraw. In other words, you're pretty much on the verge of war. Then we should take him about his offer. It's certainly more appealing than a suicide charge. I see. Very well. We accept your offer. Excellent. After what you've done for my people, it is the least I can do. It will take some time to put the pieces in place, however. I don't really like Monami either. At least Tipo's personality isn't that bad. In the meantime, please make yourselves at home. <coughs> I'd much rather have to deal with personality like Tipo's than Monokuma or Monami. Well, maybe not Monami, because she's not that bad. But Monokuma's awful. Rowan, please remain with our guests. Make certain they want for nothing. As you wish, sir. Thank you. What hooray! Sleepover party with Drizel! <laughs> you got it. You all must be tired. I will have rooms readied. Speak with me when you wish to retire. Thank you, and sorry for being a burden. Nope, I just got talked to the one dude. That's fine. I really like the look of this game too. You must be exhausted. You should rest. Allow me to see you to your chambers. You have my gratitude, Rowan. I learned more than I thought I would. Alvin is a fine instructor when it comes to swordsmanship, but I haven't had any opportunities to study spirit arts. Happy to help. Although I suspect I taught little that you didn't already know. I'd never used techniques to control spirits before. I always did it by feel. You're that skilled despite a lack of formal instruction. Impressive indeed. I hope we might practice together again sometime. 
Nothing would please this old man more. Is that you? He is no doubt thinking of Miss Elise. She is a great source of concern for him. I saw it all over his face when he was looking at her earlier. He's caught in his own vicious cycle. He feels compelled to help people, but then he can't stop worrying once he gets involved. <laughs> He's just so... human. Hey! Allow me to handle this. They were trying to create a new key. I may not have much time left. As we suspected, he was doting over Miss Elise. He would like my master to take her in. I see. Despite his failings, Jude takes his responsibility seriously. Which looks best to be triggered? Um, I'm not really sure. He's a most clever boy. That he is. I still haven't heard from my people at Fort Gondala. I imagine you're growing impatient. Would you like me to dispatch Rowan to check on the preparations? Very well. I will send him at once. I'm counting on you, Rowan. It's my preference you have choice. <laughs> Just because I have choices doesn't mean I can always pick one. Let's see. It would take me no less than a day to get to and from on horseback. Oh. I suppose that means we'll have to bid farewell to our new friends tomorrow. Looks that way. If everything's on track. I still can't believe how perfectly Avon's voice fits him. That settles it. Today, Ellie, Mila, and I are going shopping. Shopping? For real? Hooray! Time's a-wasting. Let's go! Wait, where are we going? I promised to take Ellie shopping, silly. If you're leaving tomorrow, today's our only chance. Ah, very well. You two carry on with your consumerism. Everyone, to the shops! To the, to shops! the shops! Wait, put me down. I have no need for trinkets. It's not gonna kill you to tag along. Yeah, you might actually enjoy acting like a human girl for once. A human girl? Strictly speaking, the concept of gender does not apply to me. I merely took the form of a woman upon manifesting. I can no longer obey the king. He uses his own people as pawns. It's time to stand against these tyrants. It's the only way to protect this precious peace of ours. Are you going to rebel? Is there going to be a war? I'm certain Noctigal has consolidated his power for an invasion on Azul. 
He has already shown that he's willing to sacrifice his own people to satisfy his ambition. If he isn't stopped, countless lives in Rashigal and Azure will be lost all for naught. I am the governor, and protecting the people who live here is something that I must do. That's not easy. You're right, but I'm responsible. Now, will you lend me your aid? But, well, I... Deposing Noctigal is in everyone's best interest. We must unite for this cause. Good, I can talk now. <laughs> Ivan? Ivan isn't here. You mean Alvin? With an A? I don't even think there is an Ivan. There's Ivor. He's annoying. Anyways, Maxwell's custom gender isn't necessarily problematic. It's that, um, spirits, which is what she thinks she is, or what she is, I don't care, you want to look at it, spirits don't necessarily have a gender, they just appear one way or the other, and they don't procreate, you know, the same way people on animals do, so again, spirits don't have a gender, they have just, there's no real gender thing with them. So that's why she said that. Wow, that's not cheap. Just how much money do you have, Drizel? Now, don't be rude, Tipo. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. A Aether gendered? What the fuck is that? We're talking about biological sex here. I've never heard of this A Aether gendered thing. I don't know if I want to I don't know if I want to see that list yeah it's the depressing part that scares me Cheryl. Hm. 
foolish girl. I'm under orders from the king to wipe out any and all rebellious elements. You will come quietly, or else. What? Take them into custody. House Cheryl is conspiring to rebel against the throne. I don't like the sound of this. Let's run! The doll is right. We must escape before we're surrounded. Something major is at play here. Stick with me, you two. Okay. Well, who do we have here? Take her. You know, it's not good when your people see you cower like that. He's such a shitty leader. I'm surprised his troops follow him at all of how much of a coward that fuck is. <clears throat> Arrest them all. to Fort Gondala. I see. You decided to finally wake up. Hey, look, it's Brick again. How dare you trap us in here? I am Gilland, Deputy Chief of Staff for the Rashagul Military. <laughs> Call yourself what you will. You're just another of Nautical's dogs. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. There's something I'd like to ask you. You stole the key to our device, yes? What device? And I hear you hid it somewhere, correct? I don't know what you're talking about. through that hex zone while wearing it. Well, you saw what happened. You won't get away with such brutality. It's a violation of the Sabstrath Convention. Now where is the key? You're wasting your time. Uh, no! 
You don't care what happens to your friend here? Your threats are meaningless to me, human. I have no fear of death, or injury, or loss. Go ahead and push me through. Push us all through. Maybe then you'll see I'm not kidding. Tell us where the key is, or else. Yes, sir! Start talking! Huh, what's wrong? Your boss left you a big job and you have no idea how to accomplish it? Why not start with a full body search? You'll learn quickly I don't have this key on me. Fine. Not the sharpest blade in the Rashigal military, are you? Now let's see if the hostage strategy works on your comrades. Drop your weapons. I've had enough of this place. Yourself. I don't suppose you can wield a sword. I figured. Elise, you look after her. I can't! Not with our Tipo! What? I need Tipo to fight! It's okay. I can look after myself. Don't cry, Ellie. I'll protect you. Let's go. Very well. We'll need to get these shackles off first. Right. a key or some means of deactivating it. We'll find our solution, and find Tipo as well. Okay! <laughs> Elise, yourself. We have to hurry. But if we get careless, our hex shackles could explode. Gillen said they only explode when you step in a hex zone. It seemed quite precise. It should not explode otherwise. You have that much confidence in our enemy's traps? It's merely conjecture. There could be any number of other possibilities. So in other words, we can't be sure of anything. No one can ever make guarantees about the future. <laughs> I'm a daughter of House Cheryl. I can get through this. I can't be scared. Are we going to be okay? Yeah. Hang in there, Ellie.
Oh, I almost got that one. Not quite yet. Oh man, those guys are great, but I can't get over there. Tipo, Listen, balls. where are you? What do I do without you? Anti gender, the fuck. <coughs> yep, no, I need a key for that. Great. I can't go that way because of the hex zone, but I can't get in the store over here. so long since I've had to fight alone. I'd forgotten how tiring it can be. There's a gender, like, you identify as a fucking number. So, there are people out there I'd have to call, like, a two or something. That That's what they want. Are you okay? I don't know if Maxwell feels bright and celestial, though. Don't worry. I will protect you. Thank you. You just said that you were willing to sacrifice us. Now you're going to protect us? Which is it? Hmm. It's both. If I can protect you, I will. These genders sound more like personalities. However, if I'm forced to make a hard choice, I will not hesitate to do so. That is my duty as the guardian of this world. <sighs> we can't tarry any longer. We have to move on. I don't know how anyone could carry that burden. I understand. My brother has that duty too. Oh, that's right. She doesn't know her brother's dead yet. Tipo, where are you? Elise, fear and panic won't bring Tipo back to you. But still... Mila, can we stop for a minute? I'm gonna teach Ellie my secret magic spell. Here, take my hand and jump up three times. If you do that, you can give me half your sadness, and you'll feel halfway better. 
Okay. There. Don't you feel better now? A little bit. See? When I was little, my brother used to take my hand and cast a spell with me. I think we're ready to go. Drusome. I'm sorry. I'm not good at channeling spirits. This silly little spell is all I have. <laughs> no, it's a wonderful art. Thank you. Yay, mind game, stricken people and they're feeling better by the power of the mind. Hmm. I should be able to move this box. I know I can move that box, I'm just seeing if there's anything up there. Just in case we're gonna push it here. I am confused. I got the key. Oh wait, I remember. <laughs> we mustn't put them in undue danger. We have to proceed with caution. Almost got it. Let us move onward. I hope the Ender Dark. I hope not. It sounds like someone who doesn't have a fucking control of themselves. Or someone not that might be trying to use it as a fucking excuse to do shit. If we must. 
sword rings true. I kicked him in the freaking shadowy dust. How come there's no bees? Did you just skip through the letter B? Is there no is there's no B? Just goes from A to fucking C. Why no love for the letter B? That soldier had this on him. Looks like a key. Well spider. Thank you, Giselle. See? You can I save the day sometimes. There's very few bees. I believe they're hating on the bees. What did bee ever do to them? Majima X is also known as swap gender. There's genders for ecos. How can you feel like an ecosystem? Or a bayou? Door I go. Hey, look at that. I found the control room. Manilope activity is off the meter. We've recorded an instantaneous value of 585,000 rails from the mana discharge. <laughs> Magnificent. <laughs> before we collected the data. Very good. Well done. I am going to put an end to your petty ambitions right now! So, is this her? Yes. So is this girl really supposed to be the Lord of Spirits? Oh, please, don't make me laugh! Are you alright, Mila? With the Lance of Kresnik, know that I will bring Ashul to its knees! That's 
Why, you invaded Sherilton? How can you keep committing these atrocities? Silence, boy! These matters are not meant for children such as you! How dare you! <laughs> didn't really think you could stop me, did you? Huh. Hmm? Ilbert, is that you? Rowan Ilbert? Wait, what? The Ilbert from the history books? Ilbert the Conductor? What business could one who cast aside both his army and his kingdom have here? Lady Dressel, I'm so pleased to find you safe. I was beside myself with worry. Huh. You have fallen far, Ilbert. But your new role as a servant suits you. Your Highness, this way. You need not trouble yourselves with these criminals any longer. I don't like this. Mana boosting technology like that could pose a real threat in our jewels' hands. What are you so afraid of? We'll just have our military equipped with the same technology. Well, it might not be that easy. I do not care. Bring the data back to Fenmont at once. Do you wish to use it on the Lance of Kresnik subjects? Yes, and without delay. Stop right there! If it isn't the phony Maxwell. Tell me, why do you use Spyrex? Why do you sacrifice your own people to attain power that you don't need? A king is supposed to protect his people. Huh. As if a charlatan like you could comprehend. It is my duty to rule this world. It's my destiny. But to fulfill this duty, to my country, to my people, power is a necessity. I must protect them both. All kings derive power from their people. It's a small sacrifice, and a worthy sacrifice. Good speech, but it has one flaw. Really? Then do tell. If you must rely on trickery such as this, and if you truly need something like Spyrex to fulfill this precious duty of yours, <coughs> then in the end you will achieve nothing! Not this false twisted mission, and not your imagined destiny. Nothing at all! <laughs> you can lecture all you want. It changes nothing. You haven't even scratched me yet. It looks like... There were more flaws than I thought. What? That's impossible! This is the power of will over destiny? I still don't have a scratch on me now, do I? Your Highness! You have no right to even talk about duty! What's wrong? She's... Elise, you have to heal her! Quickly! <sighs> she doesn't look so good! She's all busted up! 
Come on, Mila. Open your eyes. Why? Why did this have to happen? I wish I could say. There they are! The escapees! Get them! Time to go. Nothing else we can do here. Let's get her back to Sherrillton. Stop them! Activate the guards! Quickly! Yes, I would like to save my progress. That sounds like an excellent idea, video game. Noctagall. And then... Thank goodness. Stay in bed. I'm gonna call the doctor. Doctor? What doctor? That's enough tests for today, young lady. Sounds kind of like emo or something. She's stable and alert. I think she'll be fine for now. Maybe cause. <clears throat> what happened to Jude and the others? Are they okay? <laughs> Miss Elise is downstairs. <coughs> Jude went into the city to look for Alpha. You must be famished, Mila. Yes, you should eat what you can. You need to regain your strength. I'll order something hearty. Let's head downstairs. Oh. What's wrong? I can't move my legs. How much time has passed since I let him get away? I can't stay here any longer. Mila! Your legs! Yes. No tingling, no pain, no anything. <sighs> Jude, where's my sword? Don't be ridiculous. You have to rest. I've rested long enough. I must get to Fenmont. You're still going on about your mission? That's all over now. Don't you get it? What gives you the right to make that decision? Decision? Don't be stubborn. There is no choice here. You don't have any strength left. You can't even walk, let alone wield a sword. You have to accept reality. Jude, do you remember the people of Hamil? Huh? They were forced into a situation they didn't choose, and they didn't have the strength to fight against it. Well, yeah, maybe things would have turned out differently for them if they were stronger. So what is strength exactly? Is it something you wield to fend off attackers? Is it something you use to control the four great spirits? Is it something that lets you walk on your own two legs? It's none of those things. Not real strength. You just won't give up, will you? I can't give up. My mission won't let me. I must keep moving forward. 
Even if your body won't move at all? That's who I am. Good morning. Is something on your mind? It's just that... a long time ago, my father healed a patient who had lost the use of his legs. Really? Yes, really. So I was thinking we could visit my hometown, La Ronde. What changed? You were so determined to hold me back yesterday. I was... I don't know why. I'm not sure what changed. <laughs> if you say so. I just know there's nothing I can do to stop you. Even if you can't walk, you'll just crawl away and get into trouble. <laughs> you really are... A do-gooder? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm in your hands. Lack of concentration or wakefulness soda with ADHD, fibromyalgia, or depression? No. No, no, no. Fibromyalgia <clears throat> has nothing to do with the fucking lack of concentration. I should know, because my mom's got that one pretty fucking bad. Due to brain fog. That is such bullshit. Right. We can reach Laurent by boat, so let's head to Sapstrath Sea Haven. Drisselle, you have my gratitude. And you have my hopes for a full recovery. Please take the utmost caution on your journey. I'm truly sorry we cannot accompany you. No need to apologize. You have much to keep you occupied here. Griselle's life is about to get very busy. She'll need your guidance. Yes. about being lonely anymore. Drissel and Rowan will keep you company. I know, but still... We should get moving. Everyone, you've been a great help. I'm in your debt. Time to hit the road. Thanks, all of you.
So be it. Just a normal little boondocks town. It did used to be a famous mining colony, though. Since you're human, you must have parents. Are they a lot like you? I don't know about that. Aren't you looking forward to seeing them? Hmm. My parents tend to prioritize work. We don't always get along. I've read about child-parent relationships. There's something called an Oedipus complex. I'm pretty sure that's not it. Ah. So yours is more of the scheming, backstabbing sort of family? Exactly what sort of books are you reading? How did you become such an amazing cook? I can't even boil water without burning it. That's not true. Anybody can become a good cook with practice. Everyone has their own mission. <laughs> so you're saying my mission is to cook for Mila Maxwell? In my current state, I can't even do that. I can't make dinner. I can't even make a bed anymore. You can make dinner without the use of legs. <clears throat> don't... Don't worry. I'll do that stuff for you from now on. Thank you. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Thanks. the sea haven sometime today glad to hear it
handle this. Yeah. All right. Over already? Mila! You okay? Sure. I'm fine. But now what? Are you really gonna keep laying down, keep saying the I genders there? Is that entertaining you? I think we're running out of time before you can get through them all. Hold tight. Fighting alone really makes you realize how fortunate we were to fight by people like <coughs> it, it is. There's just a lot of them. I can't agree more. Far worse than I thought it was. It isn't every day you get to ally with Ilbert the Conductor. What's the reason behind his nickname? They say it's because he gains full control of the battlefield. He once crushed three armies in a single day. The battle was called the Priscilla Miracle. And it helped create the Rashigal we know today. I could tell he was no normal man. But I had no idea that he was such a famous tactician. It was such an incredible honor to fight beside a living legend like that. <laughs> and how might it feel to fight beside the Lord of Spirits herself? Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing at all. Are your legs okay? If they start to hurt, just say so. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope Elise doesn't get too lonely. She has Rowan and Giselle with her. You don't need to worry. I wonder what Alvin's next job is going to be. I hope it isn't anything too dangerous. You wouldn't last long as a mercenary if you turned down dangerous work. <laughs> you really are a worrier, aren't you? It's not that. I just wish we could have all stayed together. This was inevitable. We all have different duties. Cheer up. We'll see them all again. Yeah. <laughs> How very odd. When you carry me on your back like this, I can't help but remember flying with Syl. Let me go check on the ship's schedule. I'll be right back. Finally caught up with you. Ivor, what are you doing here? When I saw your face on the wanted posters, I knew I just had to find you right away. But what about your duty to protect Nia Kara? I begged the villagers to let me come to your aid. They were very understanding. You imbecile. That's not the point. Don't you realize? Ugh. Lady Mila, are you okay? Your... your legs. Mila! You! Tell me what you've done to her! Neither. It wasn't you's fault. I brought this upon myself. But you wouldn't be in this predicament if I'd been by your side. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Handmaids are made, not appointed. 
one must dedicate his life to serving and protecting Lady Mila. It is an esteemed position for real men. Manly men. Well, that rolls Ivor out. Clearly, it was a mistake to let an uncouth, unreliable, underhanded stranger like you serve her holy person. Now, come with me, Lady Mila. Wait! My father might be able to heal her legs. If what you say is true... I will be the one to take her to see him. I've had you pegged as a phony from the moment I laid eyes on you. Now know your place and be gone. You can accompany her if you like, but I'm coming too. Hmm. Ivor, stop this nonsense. Please, Lady Mila, stay where you are. You will thank me for this later. you allow this to happen? I... Shut up! I don't need to hear your excuses! I tried! I said shut up! It's time for you to pay for your sins, you bastard! Now! Swallow dance! Eat it! Eat it! Okay! Alright! Well, that didn't do anything. I can't move! Ah, uh, there's the items. Fucking let me move! Holy fucking shit! This getting really fucking annoying. I was so stupid! Yeah, I'm gonna walk and retry the battle because I got fucking cheated! What the kind of bullshit was that? <laughs> I'm getting really sick of this not being able to move thing. Let me fucking attack! Holy shit! Fucking hell! I must fulfill my duties. Pretty good for a phony. No, ogres are like onions. Lamia genders, lemon genders are not like ogres. Call me whatever you want. I just want to help Mila. The only thing like ogres are onions. <laughs> I don't have time for this. You two can duke it out as much as you want. I'm leaving. I 
I'm sorry. If you still aren't satisfied, I'll fight you again later. Right now we need to get moving. Huh. Ivor, I have something very important to give you. It's crucial that no one else gets their hands on it. Consider it as precious as my life. The lives of the four are counting on it. And you're entrusting it to me? I shall defend it to my last breath, Lady Mila. I knew I can count on my handmaid. Now, return to Nia Kara. What? Your duty is to protect Nia Kara. But Lady Mila, my place is with you! Don't make me repeat myself. G hurry up and take her. But don't forget who's the real handmaid. This guy! Uh, sure. <coughs> and I promise, I won't rest until Mila walks again. You got that right! Oh wait, hey, if you're all if you're all heading rest, do you think you know, that do this little for me? Yeah, sure. Great, please take us to the end of Charlatan. I will get to that when I go back there. For now I'm no, I don't want no get that there you go, yes. Because of paranoia and I'm gonna heal myself. Why this convenient end? I was like of this game, instead of just random noises, they actually do have people talking in the background. It's nice. Roger. 
Are you heading home? I'll come with you. Here, use this. Agenda changes to fit people year round. That sounds like someone who's <clears throat> really in, got you know low self esteem and shit, like almost zero. That's what that one sounds like. city treating you. Do you like the capital? Hmm? What is this? Oh, you ready to see me now, Doctor? I'm sorry, everyone. We have an urgent case here. You'll have to come back in the afternoon. Well, number one, in narcissistic people, I get the feeling it's probably going to be some stupid, like, narcissi narcissistic post disorder or something dumb. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <clears throat> Catch you later. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> you really got into the swing of things here, Alia. Best nurse in town. Also, the only nurse in town. But hey, you know how it is. Bring her in. Or maybe narcissistic pro problem disorder. Narcissism problematic disorder. Who wants his things? That MPD could mean. Dr. Mathis, please, just lie still. I'm Mila. Are you Jude's father? Yes. Can you flex your legs? Narcissistic personality disorder. I was close. It's not a disorder. Narcissistic people are just dicks. No, I can barely feel anything below my waist. I see. Ellen, you can leave now. Go check on Jude. Oh, um, okay. I need to run a few tests. Please, bear with me for a bit longer. Was that Jude's mother? Yes. Jude's our only child. What exactly is your relationship with my son anyway? It's complicated. We're friends. I gave him a pendant as a token of our friendship. Friends, huh? Pardon my skepticism. You look much older than him. And you're a woman. Jude tells me you once healed a human who shared my... condition. Would you give me the same treatment? Possibly. It depends on how these tests come out. I see. 
Either way, you'll need to remain in the clinic for a while. Wasn't there already a new transgender one? How are you feeling? Fine. I still can't move my legs, of course, but otherwise, no complaints. How are the test results? I think my husband, Dr. Mathis, should speak to you directly about that. <coughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. How do you and my son know each other? <laughs> What's so funny? Sorry, it's just that your husband asked me the same question. I suppose this is what's known as parental concern. I get it now. You humans have so many admirable traits. We humans? Jude rescued me from a tough spot back in Fenmont. Because of his actions, he couldn't go back to the city. He's been traveling with me ever since. That sounds like Jude. He hasn't changed. What do you mean? Jude's always been too quick to help others, even when he was a boy. To his detriment, I take it? His friends teased him for it. He was bullied. Yet he didn't stop? He'd come home all beaten up, but underneath the bruises, he'd still be smiling. What's a mother to do? Didn't they already do a non-binary thing as well? <laughs> so that's why you... Ellen, we're getting busy out here. You know this is the only clinic in town. Derek! You need to stop spoiling Jude. He's a man now. Coddle him and he'll just grow softer. Hmm. So this is also parental concern. Although, the funny thing is, he just stood up to me for the first time in his life. He ordered me to use an Asperixis on you. An Asperixis? It would cure me? Let me walk again? Perhaps you are a good influence on him. In his efforts to help you, he seems to have grown bolder. As a father, I'm pleased. But as a doctor, I'm afraid the treatment isn't an option, despite my son's persistence. I see. So that's your final decision? It is. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you can't... <coughs> the fuck? Very well. I'll just have to find some other way. I see. I'm glad you understand. The procedure itself is simple enough, but it's not like you'd regain mobility right away. Hmm? I'd need to apply spirit arts directly to your nervous system. You couldn't move a finger without screaming. The pain would be excruciating. Even in the best case scenario, it would take several months before your nerves adapt to the arts and you could move again. Why are you telling me this? We can't get the spirit fossils needed to run the device anymore. Even if we could, the mana in the fossils escapes just as soon as you uncover them. It's a shame. The Asperixis might have cured you. What are you doing? Shh. We can't let my dad hear us. Why not? We're gonna use the Asperixis on you now. But your father just told me it was impossible. Leia, give me a hand. Uh, uh sure. 
here. You'll want to lay down on your side. What the fuck? How? <laughs> Feel anything? Any pain? No, nothing at all. My leg still won't budge either. Why isn't it working? I don't sense any mana in this stone. Your father said that an Asperixis needs a spirit fossil, or it won't work. A spirit fossil? Those things really exist? Oh, so the special stone mentioned in the medical files is a spirit fossil. Your father also said the fossil has to be used immediately after it's uncovered, or it loses its mana. Great. As if the procedure wasn't already tricky enough. that they used to find spirit fossils down in the Felgana mine. Are you serious? Whoa, jeez, be quiet. It's just something my dad told me. Mila, it sounds like we need to take you out for some field medicine. That seems like a lot of work. You'll do that for me? Thank you. Jude, can you help her into the wheelchair? What about you? I have to get stuff ready. I'll meet you at the edge of town. They say that back during the mining boom, this whole street was packed with merchant stalls. Is that right? I was just thinking how much this quiet little street fits you. normal what that's it that's all you have to say you're always boring everyone with long-winded explanations but when I ask a question I get the cold shoulder come on you're blowing things out of proportion listen you're gonna talk, and you're gonna tell me everything. You have ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight... Well, there was a nurse at the school named Prin who was always really nice to me. But on the day I went to see my professor, I got attacked by a girl in red clothes. So then, I couldn't go back to the school anymore. Although that did result in me meeting Mila. Oh, and in terms of other friends, I met this girl named Elise. Fine, I got it! Message received loud and clear! You met all sorts of other girls while you were away. Good job, Jude. I'm so happy for you. I see you haven't changed a bit.
Mm, I would like to see a merchant. I haven't been back here in a while, but the town hasn't changed one bit. I mean, I don't actually have the money for it. Well, fuck me. I'm already out of the monies. Jesus fucking Christ. Here we go. This must be the mine. So, from what I understand, spirit fossils are a very particular color. Oh. Huh. Crazy. Strange. It's like the miners quit in the middle of their work. Do you know what happened? No. Maybe there was some kind of accident. They might have closed the mine because it was dangerous. That doesn't sound good. Come on! 
on, don't chicken out. We've come too far to quit now. You sure are fired up today. An adventure's waiting. Let's make the most of it. Ready to race? Whoever finds the most spirit fossils wins. Just be careful, okay? I don't want to see you get hurt. Oh, Jude, you always know how to poop on my party. <laughs> Besides, shouldn't you be more worried about Mila than me? Now, let's see. I guess it's too much to ask to find some lying around in plain sight. Mila, wait here. Find something, Jew? Whoa, what's that? No mistaking that color. Those are spirit fossils. But they're so teensy weensy. Hey, I think I feel a slight breeze. I think this is a dead end. You two sit tight. I want to see where it goes. And let you beat me? Ha! Leia, come on. It's too dangerous. And that's why we should all go together. Yep. What's the point of bringing me along if you're just gonna go all lone wolf? Just watch your step, okay? Don't worry about it. understand how the fuck you can be how you can identify as a cloud clouds are inorganic <clears throat> if it starts to hurt just say so okay I'm fine 
Down we go. An earthquake? and healing with delicious food and a family atmosphere. Is that any different from other lodges? It's actually just Leia's house. The family atmosphere part is true, though. Her mom will scold you if you don't clean your plate. And if you aren't out of bed for breakfast, she'll wake you. So I'm not so sure about the rest and healing part. Damn it, Jude! Not in front of potential customers! But it's all true, isn't it? The most remarkable thing about Lorand is that it somehow produces people like you two. I don't see spirit fossils anywhere. <sighs> Maybe it's time to call it a day? You shouldn't overdo it with your condition. What do you mean, my condition? I haven't been sick since I was a kid. That wasn't that long ago. Wow. Welcome back, Jude. Let the nagging begin. What's that supposed to mean? And here I thought that Fenmont had changed you. You should stop worrying so much. Leia, listen to me. This is serious. Denied. I can't hear you. Anyway, when a spirit loses its mana, it manifests in this world as a stone. In other words, you're saying the spirit dies? I've never really heard of something like that happening, though. Is that like a city thing? Not that I know of. Hmm. So does that mean a whole bunch of spirits died ages ago? Most of the spirits died before I was born. What do you mean? This can wait. We really should get moving. We really should get moving. Yeah. Whoa, hey, no need to get all angry on me. Wait, did you just hear something? Hear what? A ringing. Where is it coming from? There. It's a spirit fossil. Good ears. Let's check it out.
fucking... <laughs> the right spot. Did it move? Hey! The big one must be in there. Yeah, but rocks don't just get up and move by themselves. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. How's egg principle? Yes, I suppose so. You two stay here. This time I really am going in by myself. Keep an eye on Mila. Hey, hold on! Mila? <laughs> we're gonna do this boss battle, then we're gonna stop. Oh, I think the whole multi-gender thing's just nuts. <clears throat> I think the whole list is just stupid. Wow. Look at this place. It's surreal. You hear that? All the sounds. They keep getting louder and softer. Watch yourselves. It's so 
pretty. Watch out! Get back, Leia! Huh? Look out! Dude! <coughs> What's that? Look at its head, Jude! Is that the spirit fossil? <coughs> Leia, don't get too close! Don't worry, Jude. I'll get that fossil. Watch this! Jeez, why is this thing so darn big? It must be using the spirit fossil as a source of energy. I can't think of any other explanation. Let's just focus on beating it. We're perfectly in sync. The power of linking. Or because we're childhood friends. I won't let anyone down. I'm just getting started. All right. Now let's go grab the fossil. Be careful. Wait. Come on. The hard part's over. Yes. You're going to pay for that. Get away from them, you beast! Good, just gonna watch the game now. Just gotta get through this leveling up stuff, which might take a tiny bit. Ooh, 
No, I'll finish leveling up afterwards on my own time. That's taking too long. At the very least, I got Mila's done. <clears throat> I almost had it done. Damn it, Leah, distract the son of a bitch. to use the Asperixis. Whoa! Goodness. This is some device you humans have come up with. How bad's the pain? Well, it's not worse than I imagined, but it's considerable. I'm sorry. I should have been more careful. But you retrieved the spirit fossil for me. If anything, I'm in your debt. Thanks. Let's get back to town. I'll get the wheelchair. You look like you want to say something. You can tell me. Jude can't hear you. The thing is, when Jude learned that the Asperixis would cause you incredible agony, I thought for sure he'd call off the procedure, even though it could help you. Jude knows that there is something I must do. Yeah, but still, the old Jude would never do that. Sounds like you know why he is the way he is. Uh... Ever since we arrived here, you've been doing your best to avoid giving him opportunities to step in and help. So, you noticed. Jude was always home alone when he was little. His parents do seem preoccupied with work. Yeah. I don't think Jude ever realized it himself, but I think he was really lonely. I imagine so. But what does that have to do with how Jude is now? I think he's just eager to get involved with other people somehow. I get it. He wants to feel needed. That's Exactly. He would never do anything that might push people away. But the Jude who came back with you isn't quite the same Jude who left. I figured that out from watching you. You're the one who changed him. I haven't done anything. Jude made his own choices. <sighs> Sorry. I think I'm at my limit. Mila!
Don't worry. She just passed out. I don't mind pushing the wheelchair on the way back. Uh, okay. Why the sudden burst of compassion? Why? Is there anything wrong with it? Well, no. Just unexpected, I guess. What can I say? I'm feeling really inspired by your friend here. It's saved. It's been about two hours, if a bit over. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. So.